them. Uh, and so that's what is exciting whenever you start uh, back to a new program. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm uh, trying to remember, i got a short memory, what the second part of that question was. Uh, close oh, close games. Uh, I'll give you a little uh, uh, thing that happened. I, I knew before the 2006 season that Hawaii was going to be a good football team. And I sensed it because of the, some of the things that I talked about, the camaraderie, the chemistry, the things that go on in the locker room, off the field. I could tell they were coming together. And we lost, we, we, we were 11-3 and three that year, and we lost three games. And we had the ball in our hand with a chance to win all three of those games that we lost. And so what happened this year, those same situations come, came up. And we won all four of those games. And, and and so you learn by being in there and having success. And it's the team thing. It's everybody believing and everybody pulling together in those situations. And uh, uh, you know that's what we gotta what, what we gotta do here. And that's how you how you make those things happen. Coach, if I can kind of follow up on the first part. Uh huh. you address recruiting is easier or harder to recruit at SMU. You don't have you know you don't have the beach. You yeah. The academic standards issue that's been discussed here. Talk about that. Well, we've addressed the, the academic things because it's nationally competitive to what I've been in, so I feel comfortable with that. Uh, the, the other part of that question is it's not easy to recruit to Hawaii. Um, it's not easy at all. Um, if, a, if a mom and dad has watched their son play in high school, uh, we're 0 for 2,000 on those kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, it, 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 you know, the, the, the bottom line is, uh, you know, the budget here is different, the ability to go. We, we couldn't even go to see the kids. We, we, ESPN and Fox News was our, our main recruiters. Uh, um, you know, so the kids watching us play started to call us, send us tapes, and then we had to really uh, go do a uh, 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 criteria on, on those kids. I think at SMU uh, that it will be uh, a little bit more uh, that we have a hands-on with the kids before we even have to ask them to get on the plane and come here. While we'll, we will have met them at the school, they will know us, they will, will have a good feeling about us before they even take the visit. And uh, you know that's hard to do when you can't physically see the guy before you ask him to get on a plane and go 5,000 miles or 3,000 miles to come see it. Do you anticipate maintaining some recruiting connections in the islands? I certainly do. Uh, you know, there's a lot of players there. Uh, I know the Polynesian kids uh, are, are per capita of the population more playing in the National Football League than other any other group. Uh, there's no reason why we can't utilize that connection. I know there's a Polynesian community here in Dallas uh, that is very good that I'm definitely going to make contacts with. Uh, I'm, I'm intending that my foundation has a, a football academy and coaches uh, clinic in America and Samoa. And the kids from America and Samoa go everywhere. They go to Penn State. They go to, to all over the country. So there's no reason why they won't come to Dallas. So, so I am looking forward to, to that. Have you made contact with the students that have committed to SMU thus far in signing day cometh? Yeah. Do you feel under a crunch to get a class? You know, um, I have not yet. I haven't had time to do anything yet. I will certainly make contact with all those kids very shortly. Um, I'm sure they're watching this press conference right now with interest. Um, hopefully they're excited the same way uh, uh, everybody in this room seems to be. Um, um, the, 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 the part, what was this, the other part of it again? Signing day. Signing day. I, I really feel, and I, I learned this when I went to Hawaii because it was so late also uh, when I went to Hawaii that I have a plan on how to handle that. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a panic. We, we got some of our best players that we had play for us after letter of intent days uh, when, we, when we saw who kids got left out that could play. And so uh, even though we're going to hit it pretty hard, we already have some guys lined up we know uh, around the country that I know are following uh, right now uh, and and we'll utilize that and and also uh, we'll be patient and 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 we'll we'll we'll, we'll do it right any more what's the plan how quick will you uh, permanently move to Dallas um, well, um, I'm going to take uh, some time to kind of get the staff organized, uh, and then I'll, I'll 
probably be here real quickly. Uh, I don't uh, to give you an exact date. I don't know, but uh, I need to be here, um, and and I will. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, again, tough to watch on this side. Now, you, the challenge is obviously there. Coach June Jones takes over a program that went 1-11 and 11 last year, but you heard it referred to over and over again, commitment, a commitment that he says to get back to the higher level, something he says he did not say at the University of Hawaii. Now, UH has issued a statement through Chancellor of Virginia Hinshaw today that's saying that during negotiations with Coach Jones and his agent, the university was able to offer a, a financially competitive package in addition, UH gave assurances that non-financial matters of concern would be promptly addressed. In the end, however, Coach Jones informed us that his decision to accept the SMU position was based on his desire to undertake a new challenge and a new beginning at this point in his life. The University of Hawaii is expected to react more to June Jones in a press conference around 2 o'clock this afternoon. We are hoping to bring that to you live. If not, we will have everything from it in our 5, 6, and 10 o'clock newscasts. Stay tuned to KGMB and and KGME9.com for any new developments. We now rejoin our regularly scheduled program already in progress. Aloha.